it's just it's um it's massively emotional. I haven't seen this many people since <clears throat> I was in Waitrose. <laughs> um, can I just say I'm, I'm not doing any flashing, and I'm not the only one with bad language. I'm Glaswegian. We're allowed to swear in the middle of words. Um, um, well, I, <clears throat> watching you come out of those doors and kind of standing at the top of the stairs and coming down, you seemed a little bit. It's just I, I don't know if you I don't know what's been shown. Obviously. Um, for me, this has been just... Uh, it's such an honour to take part in such a television institution, something I've been associated with since before the actual first series. I had a friend that was in the first show and I was meant to work on the first series as a, a, a director. So t to come and do it, to be able to... Do so you have a long history with the show have, as, a, as a fan? I have, and... and I've worked in telly for 30 years, you know. Um, I have pairs of jeans older than some of the contestants in the house <laughs> um, and all my teeth are my own. Um, so, for me, it was... You watch television one way and then you partake and you realise this is beyond intense. I am more tired today than I've ever been in my life. And I've been to war zones, do you know what I mean? I've had border crossings where I've had guns held to my head. Um, but really, you know, Dan's muscles threw me, <laughs> I have to say. <laughs> I'm struggling. And, also... and you became the destroyer. Well, I mean, you, you know... You survived three, Hoddy. And well, do you know what? I was a bit like the rest of the house. I'm like, is he going to keep surviving and staying there till Listen, the end? Listen, you know, I'm really glad Sal's there cos she really wanted to be there till the end, you know? And she's a real... And clearly, I don't know anyone else that's been evicted um, up, for, up for eviction as much as me. So at once I feel hugely honoured that the public voted mm. me in three times. At the same time, f***ing hell, what was I doing wrong? So what do you think changed tonight? Um, Why was I just it your think, time, do you think? It was the first time I was up against a genuine big hitter. Sal has a massive following. Um, and she's been, you know... And it's, it's just... You know, she's a woman who's been doing this for, you know, 40 years. She plays to thousands in uh, theatres. Also, she's chirpy, she's interesting, she's got great stories, you know. And it's just... It, listen, I, to be honest with you... You're I, interesting, you've got great stories. Sometimes you're not as chirpy as Sal. <laughs> no, no, I'm not, but uh, I think I'm a little bit... Um, we bit Radio 4, shall we say, <laughs> at times. Um, no, I just think the... There are fine margins in, in the entire process. And for me, I was winning the day I walked in. You know, I've met some fat... I mean, Ben. I'm, you know, Ben was amazing, yeah. you know. And, again, as a viewer, you, even though I've been a practitioner for 30 years, um, watching, you sometimes question the relationships made in the house. Yeah. But, actually, in that amount of intensity, like, yeah. if you, you know... You have to form bonds, don't you? To survive. Yeah. Um, and so, perhaps, I didn't form enough bonds. Um, but the bond, the single bond, we don't do this for each other. For me, I do it for the viewing public. Mm. That's the most important bond I feel I've walked away with, a, a bond with a share of the viewership I've not normally had. And I finally got to meet you, which, does you know I mean, ultimately, yeah. um, is what it was all about. <laughs> 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 what a pro. What a pro. Constant, constantly being up for, for eviction did, did get to you, though. We, we saw that in the house. You had killer noms this week. How many do you think you got? Um, I think I would have nominated myself, frankly, had the so rules So you think everybody? Uh, pretty much. I'm going to yeah. show you. Really? Yes. You know this. I don't. I don't <laughs> know anything. I thought I did before I went in. My nomination is... Hardeep. 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 He will say something that is inappropriate to someone, meaning inappropriate, like, mean, or just like a, a diss, and then immediately leave the space. His sentences are always punctuated with bad language and very often it's unnecessary. He doesn't think before he speaks socially. He can get it wrong sometimes, but I know deep down he's got a good heart. He made a comment um, about what I was wearing and as a young girl, anyway, it made me feel uncomfortable. There's a lot of little arguments or digs. Like there's been a couple towards me, Gabby, Sally, some to a bit of everyone. He just he has his little snaps. It makes me feel a bit uneasy and a bit a bit uncomfortable. And I don't like seeing it. So everybody but Nick. Yeah, I mean I've saved a lot of money on launches. Um, <laughs> no, listen, uh, there's some truth in what they say. It's uh, I come from a different world. Mm. I come from a world where we have discussions and conversations yeah. and creative differences. And uh, for me in the house, you know, Gabby's favourite line was, how long is your story going to be? Is it less than a minute? Do you know what I mean? That, 
how can you discuss anything yeah. meaningful in less than a minute? It's, it's slightly Instagram generation. They all have a great deal. They did deal seem to crave debate in there and conversation yes. and you, thought-provoking chats. Do you know what I mean? Did, yeah. you, did you find that some the, people the, say the that. house... Some people say I'm an incendiary hand grenade of opinions. <laughs> um, opinions like... We've but everybody's them. Not everyone wants to it? smell them. And, and that's, that's, they, they, that's the whole point of Big Brother sure. and the social experiment I, and putting lots of deep, different people in there and seeing how they react. I mean, and you have to have characters sure. like you because well, it is great for all of us watching that want to hear. You have to have characters like me because there's debate. not a Friday night show if I'm not evicted. <laughs> um, no, I, I think for me, I thought there would be. I, this is not my world and it's been an absolute joy and a privilege and a pleasure to be part of it. Yeah. To be surrounded by people that are smashing it at a young age. There isn't anyone in the house with the exception of one person who I wouldn't want to see again and talk to and engage with. You know, mm. There'll be varying degrees of that. But to understand the pressure some of these young celebrities are under, those created by reality television, live a completely different life mm. to me. So if I'd understood that now, I think I would behave quite differently in there. People, I, I think life's about exchanging views. I think life's about me saying what I think and me learning from you. I've learned a lot. I learned a lot from Ryan. I learned from Kirsty, I learned stuff from I learned from everyone. I learned a great deal from Nick. You know, and so I'm heartened in a way Nick didn't nominate me, but it wouldn't have made a difference. Like I said, I'd have nominated myself if I was allowed to. I get on my own <laughs> Jesus. I mean, you know. Um, you had a great relationship with Nick, but you also had a really great relationship with somebody else. Do you know who that is? No. Big brother. Oh really? <laughs> Yeah. Before we get on to that, I think Motorhead are ready to reform. Um, <laughs> um, you did get really emotional. Yeah. Like we I, saw you break down quite a few times. Yeah. It's difficult to explain, but... Try. You've okay. got brilliant words. So you might lose a, me, but I'm going to no, try No, you I definitely to won't, <laughs> sister girl. I definitely won't. Man, them do, man, them do. Safe, yeah? And the truth, yeah? Get me when the truth ain't gone with me, yeah? Um, yes. So when I was a kid, I watched too much television, and my mum would berate me. She'd say, what good is going to come of you watching television? And then spool forward to when I'm 21, I joined the BBC and I've spent 30 years almost uh, working in television. I love this medium. I think this medium has the potential to change the world. <clears throat> if you look to see the, the, the revolution in Romania when they overthrew, overthrew uh, through Ceausescu, that was done by television. The revolution happening around the world. Totalitarian regimes closed down television. It's that powerful. This program when it started, showed how powerful it was. It went off the rails, and since it's come back to this channel, I think the last two, Celeb Big Brothers particularly, have shown mm. the potential television has to engage an audience. The viewing figures say that for themselves. So, of course, I want this to be brilliant. I want this to be a place to, to have discourse. You know, if I'm trying to be funny and serious together at the same time, maybe as you're laughing, which none of them really were most of the time, I think we can concede, then maybe some of the information gets in, you know? If, if we're laughing and engaging, isn't that what, so as human beings, we're meant to be? do you find that that experience has helped you discover anything about you? You did, you did mention you feel like you've had a couple of personal breakthroughs in there. Listen, um, it's been... <sighs> it's been massive, you know? If you give anyone who's... I'm 49, I'm no spring chicken, but I've got more to do. Mm. If you take them out of their comfort zone for three weeks, and let them try and be open to learning, to making mistakes. I made so many mistakes. So what have you learned? Because we've only got 10 seconds. What have I learned? <laughs> um, I've learned that um, no matter how good you think you are, there's always room to improve. And I've also learned, don't come on national telly without underwear on, even if you're wearing a kilt. <laughs> <laughs> One happy punter. <laughs>